I am that by Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj Chapter 15 The Gyani Questioner Without God's power nothing can be done Even you would not be sitting here and talking to us without him Maharaj All is his doing no doubt What is it to me since I want nothing? What can God give me or take away from me? What is mine is mine and was mine even when God was not. Of course it's a very tiny little thing, a speck, the sense I am, the fact of being. This is my own place. Nobody gave it to me. The earth is mine what grows on it is god's questioner did god take the earth on rent from you maharaj god is my devotee and did all this for me questioner Is there no god apart from you Maharaj How can there be I am is the root god is the tree Who am I to worship and what for Question Are you the devotee or the object of devotion Maharaj I am neither I am devotion itself Question There is not enough devotion in the world Maharaj You are always after the improvement of the world Do you really believe that the world is waiting for you to be saved Question I just do not know how much I can do for the world All I can do is to try Is there anything else you'd like me to do Maharaj without you is there even a world you know all about the world but about your own self you know nothing you yourself are the tools of your work you have no other tools why don't you take care of the tools before you think of the work question I can wait while the world cannot Maharaj by not inquiring you keep the world waiting question waiting for what Maharaj for somebody like you who can save it question God runs the world God will save it Maharaj That is what you say Did God come and tell you that the world is his creation and his concern and not yours Question Why should it be my sole concern Maharaj Consider the world in which you live who else knows about it question why you know <laughs> everybody knows maharaj 
Did anybody come from outside of your world to tell you that? Myself and everybody else appear and disappear in your world. We are all at your mercy. Questioner it cannot be so bad. I exist in your world as you exist in mine. Maharaj, you have no evidence of my world. You are completely wrapped up in a world of your own making. Questioner. I see. All right, completely, but hopelessly? Maharaj, within the prison of your world, a man appears who tells you that the world of painful contradictions which you have created is neither continuous nor permanent and is based entirely on a misapprehension. He pleads with you to get out of it by the same way by which you got into it. You got into it by forgetting what you are, and you will get out of it by knowing yourself as you are. Questioner, in what way does that affect the world? Maharaj, when you are free of the world, only then you can do something about it. As long as you are its prisoner, you are helpless to change it. On the contrary, whatever you do will only aggravate the situation. Questioner, righteousness will set me free. Maharaj, Righteousness will undoubtedly make you and your world a comfortable, even a happy place. But what's the use? There is no reality in the world. It cannot last. Questioner God will help? Maharaj To help you, God must know of your existence. But you and your world are dream states. In a dream you may suffer agonies, but no one knows about them. No one can help you. Questioner So all my questions, my search and study are of no use? Maharaj, these are but the stirrings of a man who is tired of sleeping. They are not the causes of awakening, but definitely its early signs. But you must not ask idle questions to which you already know the answers. Questioner How am I to get a true answer? Maharaj by asking a true question non-verbally by daring to live according to your lights only a man willing to die for the truth will get it questioner another question there is the person and then there is the knower of the person. There is also the witness. Are the knower and the witness the same? Maharaj, the knower and the witness are two or one? When the knower is seen as a separate entity from that which is known, then the witness stands alone. But when the knower and the known are seen as one, 
the witness becomes one with them. Questioner Who is the Jnani, the witness or the Supreme? Maharaj The Jnani is the Supreme and also the witness. He is both being and awareness. In relation to consciousness, he is awareness. In relation to the universe, he is pure being. Questioner And what about the person? What comes first, the person or the knower? Maharaj The person is a very small thing. Actually, it is a composite. It cannot be said to exist by itself. Unperceived, it is just not there. It is the shadow of the mind, the sum total of all memories. Pure being is reflected in the mirror of the mind as knowing. What is known takes the shape of a person based on memory and habit. It is a shadow or a projection of the knower onto the screen of the mind. Questioner The mirror is there. The reflection is there. But where is the sun? Maharaj The supreme is the sun. Questioner it must be conscious. Maharaj, it is neither conscious nor unconscious. Don't think of it in terms of consciousness or unconsciousness. It is the life which contains both and is beyond both. Questioner, life is so intelligent, how can it be unconscious? Maharaj, when you say unconscious, you're really meaning a state in which there is a lapse in memory. In reality, there is only consciousness. All life is conscious, all consciousness alive. Questioner, even stones? Maharaj, even stones are conscious and alive. Questioner you see, the worry with me is that I am prone to denying existence to anything I cannot imagine. Maharaj, you'll be wiser to deny the existence of what you have imagined. It is the imagined that is unreal. Questioner, is all imaginable unreal? Maharaj, imagination based on memories is unreal. The future is not entirely unreal. Questioner, which part of the future is real and which is not? Maharaj, the unexpected and unpredictable is real.